like sweeping hitboxes. So you have to be very precise if you want to do a team combo. Yeah. So we'll see. But it is going to be Mr. Air and Cryo versus uh, Leia. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, just, I, I, said, uh, I said it wrong on purpose. Anyways, let's get right into the match. Okay, decide to split up immediately. Syro taking on Leia and Kuro going against Mr. E right here. Okay, nice team combo already starting off on Kuro. Nice 70% already starting off. Very strong start. I, like, I do like the fact that Syro immediately just goes to the spot dodge, tries to punish Kuro. He, that's a really prime opportunity. He's got Kuro at 70. He's got him at the ledge. He knows the end like from the grab. That was really good for Syro to just try to immediately take care of the stock. I really like what they're doing too. They're standing their ground in the middle and trying to keep both players out away from each other so they can't support. Exactly. Yeah, because both of these two characters, they do have very um, wide hitboxes with their swords. They're able to cover a lot of recovery options, trying to come back into center stage. They're not trying to push themselves outward. They're just keeping themselves in the middle, making sure that they're able to keep control and keep their opponents away from each other so they yeah. can't help each other. And Syro being a really high caliber player, also being ranked alongside Mr. E here in SoCal. Well, Mr. E is ranked in the, in the East Coast, but Syro is ranked here in SoCal. Oh, unfortunate reversal, though. Leia able to go in with a forward air, tries to go in too deep on the edge guard there with Lucina. So he's going to lose his stock, despite taking the two of them to 150%. Finally going to take off Kuro's stock. Good tech. Did it yeah, Lucina just needs to, like, sneeze on Leia, and then you'll be able to take the stock. Ooh, oh, double, double parry! <laughs> okay. Did you see that? That was synergy. <laughs> that, was, that was hype, dude. Double parry into dash attack into each other, and he got the kill off of it, too. That was great. I do like how Mr. E and Cyro are kind of picking their opponents here. We could definitely immediately tell right, right away. Cyro is focusing on Kuro. All right, bit of an opponent switch here between Syro and Mr. E, but I do like the fact that Syro immediately tries to understand, okay, Mr. E is working on that Dancing Blade. I want to go ahead and capitalize it as soon as possible. Yeah. Syro's doing a very good job at the survivability, too. He's picking his tech options very wisely yeah. just so that he can't get blown up, but finally just going to get caught on a landing there. Kuro with the control, too much of it, going to close it off of the back air. That's good defense from Leia, just was able to defend Kuro from that tech chase situation, avoid a forward smash on a roll. Nice. Cyro picks a pretty good option, going for down tilt, immediately able to get his opponent off of him. Yeah. Kuro off the stage here, but Cyro makes a comeback with the LB. Yeah. Roy has a lot of great options to be able to send opponents into tumble and tech chase situations. Yeah. So if Lucina's in the right spot to cover that, then he, he, they have to worry on two fronts, especially if their opponent is nowhere to be found. Exactly. And you kind of saw one of them with being down to a Kuro immediately capitalizes on Syro being at the ledge. And I feel like that's what it's come down to between Syro and Kuro. Who has who on the ledge and who has who on the back foot? Yeah. Leia and Mr. E, I feel like the pace and the tempo of the match is really going to be determined on who loses their stock first. Mr. E in a bad position right now, but Syro's back to be able to come in and help his opponent and just trying to keep Leia at bay. There's yeah. the parry into the up tilt. It's a fight for center stage here, and so far, blue team is the one who seems to have Syro at the ledge. Mr. E fights back. He's looking for the air to clear here, especially for them to try to take back center stage. Yeah. Oh, oh unfortunate, yeah. That was a very unfortunate uh, lost stock. Sure stock here. Very, very low percent there. Okay, Leos is gone. Yeah, if Mr. E can actually just hold on to 153 here. Yeah, and Kuro being at six, at 81%, Syro and Mr. E should be looking to take care of that one and put the 1v1 situation between only being 2v, 2v1. Yeah, at least Mr. E has a non-exploitable recovery, so then he can come back to the stage a little bit safer. So yeah. the question is, can they get rid of the stock? And yes, yes and they, they will. Do. Yep, and that's it. 2v1 situation here. Yeah. Mr. E being at 163, I am confident in Syro in the 1v1. But yeah. the 2v1 is much better. But he knows I have to kind of cover E the minute he gets hit. Yeah, of course, Cyril will take the lead on this one. Doesn't want Mr. E to die just from being sneezed on. Yeah. One forward air should be able to do it. So, yeah, Cyril's going to take the control. Leia just, I mean, Greninja is a very nimble character, so he can keep up the pace and the tempo of, these t of a 2v1 scenario. Exactly. So, definitely can't um, sleep on his opponent yet. Up air, not going to be enough here. I do like the fact that Leia immediately understands where Mr. E is, gets the grab, the up throw. That'll take care of the stock. Cyro off the stage. He's got Leia at 65%. Greninja is a little bit of a lightweight, oh. but from the down tilt comes the forward air yeah. and into the next game. Tried to jump out of there. <laughs> and not going to be able to escape that combo. Of course, Greninja with such great burst options that lead up into great follow-ups and kill confirms. Yeah. Slept on character, dude. Like. Oh, most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. Well, you know what it is? I feel like what the meta is is... 
we do see, we're always going to see Wolf, Lucina, Palutena be like the top three characters, and then a Snake, right? It, when it comes down to other characters, it's not that they're not good. We have a lot of characters that are honestly in contention to just be all high tier, but it's just the fact that the stronger meta of the characters, that's what you see. Yeah. You'll, you'll see more Roy and Krom than you will see Greninja. For sure. Yeah, that was definitely a very close one. Sarah yeah. and Mr. E, you can tell they've been practicing. They got some great synergy going. Very great awareness and doubles as well. Let's see if they can keep their cool, try and come back around. Because a lot of times what happens is that the underdogs, they keep it close, game one. And then game two, they just get <laughs> slaughtered. Yeah. So let's just hope that does not happen. They got to keep up their momentum. They got to make sure they keep up their mix-ups as well. So far, great team combos all around, covering a lot of range and space that these characters want to occupy. Already getting them both to 50%. Yeah, just cover his opponent as soon as he gets dash attack. Don't let the Greninja follow up. Very nice stuff. And uh, ZSS just dies. <laughs> so I don't really. I mean, it's the weight too. You have to look at Greninja and ZSS as weight characters, right? The fact that Roy has such a strong hitbox from within the sword, it pretty much lets you know, okay, because of the weight, because of Roy's strong hitbox, because of the stage blast zones, those things all take into accountability between them. Yeah, Tyro trying to land right now. Gonna be able to make it just fine. Yeah, great conversions from both of them. Even if his opponent's not there, Roy can always just get a jab into like a back air or something like that. Yeah. So. Nice, going Harry's for the aerial double-edge yeah. dance. Kuro able to at least snipe one of them, getting both Mr. E and Syro in the stun. Yeah, he, Syro was able to escape, but he didn't have enough time to be able to save his opponent. Unfortunate, but keeps things close right now. Kuro already about to lose his second sock, though. Yeah. I can definitely see Red Team definitely taking this over Blue Team, especially giving us a game three. How strong Syro and Mr. E are, but if that boost kick has a lot of things to say about that, Syro has a lot of things to say, being where Kuro's going to be in the positioning of the stage. Perfect for the backer to easily get the back, uh, the stock. Good parry. Tech tech situation, Lucina not able to cover it. Yeah, Syro, now Syro's the one trying to defend his opponent, but Leia is able to cover and just make sure that Kuro can go in on Mr. E there. Now they got control though. Oh, he really, he had the right idea with the directional air dodge. He just landed on the platform rather than landing right into the F-Smash. So we do see a little bit of an opponent switch between Kuro and Leia, right? Game one, we kind of saw Leia face off Mr. E, and we saw Syro versus Kuro. Now that things are kind of switched. Nice, Syro immediately trying to capitalize, but Kuro's not going to give Syro the time of the day. He clips him with a bit of the forward air, has to go for the low recovery. Yeah, he only got fair one. He didn't get fair two, unfortunately. That would have been the, the stock there. And Syro going to be on last stock here, but... Leia and Kuro, very high percent. Roy can take care of that easily. Just one just one jab to back air, honestly. Or a tilt. Yeah. Nice. Space up the back air just a little bit. Oh, no. Boost kick, not enough, though. Cyro yeah. with such low percent. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much even stocks, but not percents here. At least if I were Cyro looking at Kuro's high percent already at 85. Yeah. Having oh. Risky recovery with the directional air dodge. He's able to make it back though. Mr. E gets he covered the control. The air. Oh, and the berry on the on the down V. That was good from E because he wanted to cover Cyro being grounded. Oh my god, I was so scared about that edge guard. But Cyro's gonna be able to make it back, but he's racking on the percent very, very quickly. Mr. Yeah. He's gotta make sure he survives. And in the air to air, Lee, Lee was able to take that over Cyro with the back air. Yeah, has to go for that up special at the low point. Back air, trading okay. spaces here. He's going to try to help Mr. E in the 2v1, pushing Kuro towards the edge. But I do like that Leia so close behind, he knows what it means there to have Kuro off the stage. Oh, he's trying to get that edge guard, but kickflip is such a hard tool to challenge when DS is trying to gain back control. Kuro was so close to the back end to off the throw. Leia's setting up those throws too. And if I were Mr. E, I'd be careful. But Mr. E takes the stock 2v1 yet again here. With a, with a stock deficit being three versus one. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. It is very hard, though. Uh, you never sleep on Japan. You just never sleep on them. No follow up. Okay, but Mr. E will yeah. swipe away here, bringing us game three. Mm -hmm. Very strong comeback, too. Three stocks to one at that point. Yeah. So that was a very strong answer from the two of them. So 
We're getting a game three. Uh, I think the first one for double so far. Yeah. Really what I'm excited to see here is that game three, right? The way that we, we kind of saw how game one went between Syro and Mr. E. That was so close and they literally just had it, but Le Lee was just one step ahead of him. And then Greninja having that speed, the combos to complement that as well, off the down tilt, the dash attack being one of those, two of those moves here. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Just gonna initiate their bands here. All right, guys, here, game three between King Japan's representatives Lee and Kuro versus Syro and Mr. E. All right, we're going to town and city. I like that. Because of Greninja's low profiling with down with dash attack, he's able to hit Syro after the nair. Yo, I hate that Greninja just stands like a ninja. Like, it's so hard to hit that dude sometimes. It's so cool, though. Come on, it you is give him the It credit. is very cool. He's a Naruto. He's basically the Naruto character of, of the game. Yeah. Like, if we can't get Naruto, then we're going to get Greninja, basically. <laughs> okay. I wonder how the wider space and the wider blast zones will do for both of these teams, actually. Because Cyro's and Mr. E's team really strive off of kill power. Yeah. But now that there's a lot more movement and mobility for the blue team, that might be the best counterfeit for these two. So we'll have to see how it goes between theory and the practice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but there's no defending yourself from just force smash to the face. That's going to be an early stock. I mean, when, you, when we talk about theory and practice, too, looking at history for Cyro being part of the Cal Poly crew with players like Shine and alongside players like Arkister and Toasty and all those other all of, all of the players, right? He's used to playing doubles or at least playing a free for all. So he understands, right, what he's like, what it's like to be in those scenarios, having such strong and good players around him in his region. But also Mr. E being from the East Coast, the best coast currently, with no contest. Boost kick. Ah, uh, he got the parry, but wasn't able to defend him right away. And he wasn't able to get a strong force match on his landing either. Leia just exerted too much pressure with the ability to be able to dash attack and go in with something. A big combo, so wasn't able to have enough time to think about what he wanted. Yeah, but Mr. E has enough time to go ahead and think about Leia here. Keep trying to keep him off the stage. He sees Leia was 124, and immediately trying to change that 124 to zero and take the stock. Kuro approaching the high percent of 82. Yeah, red team can easily turn this around, but it's a matter of closing out both stocks. It yeah. looks like it looks like the added space is doing wonders for them right now. Exactly right. Usually, where that double edge dance will take care of the stock because of. Town and City have been having those bigger blasts on this, it wasn't going to be it. Yeah, and they're less trapped here, too. The <laughs> actual space on Town and City is a lot wider. So if they're stuck in a combo, they have a lot more room to escape to somewhere. They don't immediately go to the ledge, or they don't immediately get controlled by another opponent. There's a lot more empty space that they can occupy instead. Yeah, these two just not dying. And every time that happens, that's just extra credit for the next stocks for Syro and Mr. E. So they really got to close these stocks now. Otherwise, it's starting to lose, like, Starting to look like they're losing their grip on the match here. Yeah, I mean they have Kuro and Leah high, such high percents. I talked about any tilt for Roy can definitely take care of the stock, and that's a really good one. Sensing that Kuro was going to go for an aerial. Yeah. Even if it's an empty hop. Yeah, the stocks are overlapping right now, but the damage uh. is increasing as well. On oh, another boost kick, that's going to get rid of another one of Cyros and, and the, the edge guard on Mr. E as well. Very nice stuff. Leia hasn't lost his stock yet. Yeah. But this could set up for a potential sweep if they're able to take care of Kuro and then Leia's 158. But no sweep indeed. And Mr. E will just take care of it with the up beat. Okay, I respect the attempt to try to go for the edge guard. It's like you're at high percent. You might as well try to go for something big yeah. if you're at high percent. That didn't work out in his favor, but they still got a pretty solid lead. And yes, the damage is just increasing further and further. Great team combo as well. Taking them both to 60% already. Yeah, and a bit of a role reversal here because usually you would see red team try to fight for a center stage here, but it's even blue team trying to dominate that. Yeah. All right, big parry though. Not able to follow up with anything, though. Doesn't catch a shield drop or anything. Yeah, it's just so hard to catch both of these players. They're just so <laughs> nimble on the stage, so it's difficult for them. Especially Greninja. with the platforms, too. They can mix up how they land onto the stage as well. Yeah. Greninja's low profiling, zero and Samus' is nimbleness. Her disjoints with things like Nair and Zare, but also her forward air. Yeah, there's the counter. All right, Cyro going to have to do the 2v1. Uh, he won't have to and do it for that, much long. Yeah. All righty. They fought valiantly, not quite going to work out this time around, but still great stuff from both of them, giving Team Japan a run for their money right here. Yeah, man, pushing them to game three, yeah, that's, that's a victory in itself. right? Even if you're not able to take care of the entire game, right? just pushing Team Japan to game three, honestly, yeah. is a feat that not a lot of many people accomplish. Very true, yeah. I think, uh, 
I want to say if they banned that stage and Kalos, they might have had a better. Shot. Yeah, they would. I had a honestly don't know what they banned. The binding. See, the thing too here is 